even the military horses who caused panic when bolting through the streets of London would have turned back if confronted by Jean-Philippe Matata. Here, it was the turn of Newcastle's defenders to be spooked, and it was the Crystal Palace match winner who alarmed them so. Mateta had matched Alexander Asak for goals of late, five since the start of last month. He, however, has not been linked with £100 million moves to Arsenal. Unorthodox at a muscle-bound 6 feet 4 ins and at times awkward, the French striker does not boast the quicksilver skills of Asak. But everything about the 55th minute goal to set Palace on their way to victory, the one-touch exchange with Jordan Ayew and rolled finish into the bottom corner, his opposite number would have admired. It was, dare we say it, a sack s. Their lead was deserved, too. While clips of its climax will feature only the crisp 1-2 between Matata and Ayu that made mannequins of centre-backs Fabian Shah and Dan Byrne, it was the incision of Eberechi Ez that created the opening. In the absence of partner in crime Michael Elias, starting from the bench, Ez picked pockets and passes all night, a menace with whom Newcastle could not live. The same could be said of Matata, who followed on from his two goals in the 5-2 win over West Ham with another double to take his tally for the campaign to 14. To think, he managed just two last season. Matata settled the contest two minutes from time when sweeping home from a Wolf Hughes pullback. Again, Newcastle's defenders were nowhere near close enough. The win, a third on the spin, means Oliver Glasner's side are mathematically safe. I could not believe what I saw, there were moments Newcastle could not get out of their half, said the German, whose side swarmed all over their opponents. I feared I might have to make 10 changes after an hour, of Matata, Glasner added, JP Matata has a lot of quality and now he has the confidence. For Eddie Howe and Newcastle, this was a dent in their European aspirations on a night when they were slow of thought and movement and did not really threaten until a 95th minute shot from Anthony Gordon. We gave the ball away too much and seemed reluctant to shoot around their goal, that baffled me, said Howe. None of our game was in a good place. There were late Newcastle claims for a penalty at 1-0 in the VAR check, when Sean Longstaff went down under the challenge of Hughes, but the desperation of what always seemed a futile appeal served to highlight how poor they had been. Palace would have led inside five minutes if not for Shah's goalmouth block to deny Joachim Anderson. But, as the home efforts became less frequent and longer in range as the half drew to a close, there was a danger their early intensity might go to waste. Enter Matata, running riot through the heart of Newcastle's backline, much like those horses had done through the city earlier in the day, 